Hey everyone, welcome to the third week of the saltwater only update. We're gonna go through a bunch of different things this week. Uh, we finally got a lot of availability this week, so there is a ton of stuff coming. Uh, at the time this video is shooting, it's still gonna be a couple hours before our third shipment gets here. So you're gonna definitely wanna watch Facebook for uh, Gracie's posts this week. As far as the next few things come up, I think Reagan will have some posts too. So uh, let's get on with the saltwater update. Okay, in talking with Sir Richard, uh, one of the products that he wanted me to make sure I brought to the forefront, because I don't think I've ever shown one in a video, is the Immortal Polyfilter. Uh, this product does so many different things from removing organics, phosphates, uh, any type of foreign chemical that might have gotten into your tank. It's great to have a poly filter. It's a very inexpensive filter just to have on hand that just needs to be put in the water column, in the filter somewhere. Anytime you're worried about what could possibly have gotten in your tank, this thing will turn a color and tell you what's in your tank. First on the list are the Agile Chromas. I don't know that I've ever had these Chromas, but it's almost a washed out pink body with a yellowish eye and these, and it goes into a darker part on the dorsal and anal fins. These are beautiful reef chromas uh, that I don't know that I've ever had. I know that we got a group of them and they're very, very beautiful. Um, also in the tank with them, you will notice the pin cushion urchins that are really pretty too, just because of the black and white and that's such a great color together. Um, so yeah, that's the first start of the saltwater fish. One of my favorite fish, mainly because of how great they are at eating flatworms and things like that, are the yellow chorus rassets. An inexpensive, very reef safe and reef compatible fish. Uh, I've kept these with almost every kind of reef fish and never had any kind of negative results. They're great uh, just in terms of having a beautiful color, their hardiness, and the amount of food that they eat. Also in the tank with them, up here in the corner that I'm noticing is a cool Atlantic starfish that just came in. Um, it, it actually has blue internal lines running through the body. Very, very cool starfish. I got in another beautiful batch of small firefish this week. Uh, we sold out of the last batch I showed a couple weeks ago and I've got in another batch. Firefish are such a beautiful pastel looking fish for the reef tank and again they tend to inhabit one part of the reef and they'll kind of group together you can see them around these hawaiian feather dusters as i will show you really cool hawaiian worms that we have those also came in this week princess parrotfish when was the last time i had one of these two or three years ago maybe uh, this is a fish that gets big but probably one of the most colorful fish in the ocean uh, I love them. They will actually mow and chew on live rock. Uh, I have not had too much of a problem with them hurting corals. I would imagine they would probably eat SBS just by de facto and them being attached to the rocks. But the Princess Parrot is a gorgeous fish. If you've got a tank with a little bit of size on it, uh, this is as ugly as the fish will get. It actually goes from this point and just gets incredibly beautiful. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Also, you can see in the tank with it, uh, coming right through is a Coral Beauty Angel. We sold out of these the last two weeks. This is one of my top five fish. About coming right behind that is a Bursa Trigger fish. You can notice the Bursa is very similar to the Picasso Trigger, with the exception of the, back, uh, the black spot toward the back of the anal fin. Everybody goes crazy when we get in the Harlequin Sweet Lips. It is not a fish for beginners necessarily, but if you've got a little bit of experience and can get this guy eating, this fish can do pretty good. Uh, it is just an amazing fish. I don't even need to say anything about it. Just look at it. <laughs> very, very cool fish. Right above it is the Banner Rass. Um, it is a type of chorus species, uh, half black, half white with the yellow tail. That is a fish we don't have too terribly often. And right next to it, coming into view, is the naso tang. We got another small naso this week. Nasos go almost as fast as we get them. I don't expect this guy will last very long in here um, because it too is a wonderful, wonderful fish that's very hardy and very showy in a reef tank. Okay, so liar tail antheus this week. You're looking at a male and two females. This is the perfect way to buy these fish, and they're not very expensive fish. They can be very hardy. They're fairly long-lived. 
Um, and one of the few Antheists that I would say is as close to easy as you're going to get with the Antheist species. These are great. They almost come in eating all the time. As you can see, they're not stressed and they've only been here a couple of hours. Right behind them coming into view is the powder blue tang. Uh, this is probably one of the most popular tangs in our industry. Almost everybody wants one from inception and it is beautiful with the powder blue color on the body. It is not what I would call a fish for beginners. Uh, mainly because it is a very ick prone fish. However, if you've got a little bit of experience and you feed really heavy, this can be one of the most beautiful fish you can have in a reef aquarium. Okay, it's taken us a while to get one back in stock, but the pink margin fairy wrasse is back. Uh, I also don't expect that we'll have this guy very long, but what a gorgeous fish this is. If you want a reef wrasse with a lot of color, it stays out, good personality, great compatibility, you'd be hard pressed to find something better than the pink margin fairy wrasse. Okay, I got one more squareback antheus in this week. I'll always show the squareback in the update because it's probably my number one antheus. Uh, for any aquarium and the reason being is that it typically stays out all the time, it stays forefront in most aquariums, it's hardy, uh, I have the best longevity and service with these fish and typically it doesn't get bullied, it's very compatible with a lot of different fish and most people leave it alone, more, most fish leave it alone anyway. Uh, right next to it, uh, because we get asked every week, is the file fish, the leather jacket file fish. While this guy isn't the most colorful of fish, he is very unique and can change colors to suit his environment, especially when he's around live rock, but that's not the main reason to have him. He is my number one fish for the removal of the Aptasia or glass anemones in a reef tank. So if you start to see yourself getting uh, those types of anemones in your tank, this is the guy that will remove them. Uh, frostbite clownfish. Someone was asking the other week about some electric white clownfish. This is a pair that I got in this week. Um, there is also in there, oh, check it out, blue sided fairy wrasse. Um, I didn't even see that wrasse earlier. This is obviously a type of salabrious wrasse, it looks like, which means it's going to be very hardy, it's going to be very colorful, and it's a perfect reef tank inhabitant. We're starting with the Fabia brains in the back. If you'll notice the green and blue, uh, I love these because of the blue centers. These really look like they have blue centers because, of course, they do. And uh, they make a great first time Fabia coral. Right back here, you can see the micro goniopora. And when I say micro, it is micro. It has very, very small extensions, but a very hardy and safe gonio if you're going to try that. Right in front of it is the Magician's Poly. Uh, these these palithoas look fantastic, so very, very cool there. As we move along, we have lots of different types of zoas that were brought in. Um, some Jingle Bell Cyphostrea, uh, Stylopora next to that, and Hydropora next to that. Uh, these are electric, electric cuttings that we have, so if you need a little bit of oomph or pop in your tank, these will do it. Hayden is also getting a pretty big shipment. Hold on, let me find him real quick. Let's let's go find Hayden. There he is. Tell me some of the things that are coming in tonight. Um, bubble corals, orange yaya mensis, acaspan, acans, fabias, cool couple mixed fabias. We get any blastos? I don't think they had any blastos on the list. Okay. How many would you say? Colonies. 20. And these are these are full colonies, right? Yeah, full colonies. Okay, so watch Hayden's post on Facebook uh, because they're not going to be here in time for the video today, but they will be. They'll be here by the time you see the video. So there will be a whole list of new corals that will be in. So you definitely want to check that out. Thank you. No problem. Every week for right now for the short period of time, I'm going to try to update real quick and show you what did come in this week. So. Without wasting any more time, I did get 65s in this week. Um, I got in 90 gallon drilled. I got in 55 gallon undrilled. Um, this is a 90 drilled, that's a 90 drilled. I got in 275s over there. And I got in two 120s drilled with overflows. So those are the big tanks that came in this week. Uh, quick overview. Thanks for everyone who paid attention to the last video. We are getting more donations uh, to help with 
the Ronald McDonald House as far as trying to add food for the BioCube giveaway. So just wanted to let you know. However, it's a lot of the same people because we don't have very many entries. So maybe we're up to 20, 25 at most and two weeks left. Okay, so hopefully by the time you're seeing this, there will be corals posted on Facebook. You want to pay very close attention to that. There will be more fish too. I think I've got like three, maybe four more boxes of different fish coming in on top of what I've shown you. So this is the first week of the new year that we've got a really big fill and we did three separate saltwater orders. So there's one, the fish order, you'll also want to watch Facebook as well. Um, have a great week. God bless and more to come.